I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two coats of green on my clover and on my edges. But I'm going to darken the green that I was given a little bit. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of black to my green. I almost want to make it like a hunter green. I'm just adding a tiny bits of green, of black to my green. Just to make it a little darker. I think that's good for me right now. So you're just going to put two coats on your shamrock and do your edges as well. coats of green on my clover. I'm going to let that dry completely and when it dries we're going to distress it. So we're just going to add like dry brushing of white to just give it a different look. So I'm going to set that aside and while that is drying I'm going to paint all my little pieces. brush, And I'm going to start painting. So I'm going to paint my 17 black. I'm gonna do one coat, let it dry, and then I'll probably put on a second coat. So my 17 is aside. And then I'm gonna take my little guys, and I'm going to paint them just all different kinds of green. And I'm gonna go back to my original green. I'm gonna use some caps of my paint, or you could use a little plate, or if you have little mixing things. Um, and I'm gonna make just different kinds of green. I'm gonna make a light green, so I'm gonna add some white to it. I'm gonna take some green from my original bottle. So all these, all these shamrocks are just gonna become different color greens. So I'm gonna put two coats on each.
since this is dry, I'm going to dry brush it with some white. So that's just going to distress it a little bit. Um, so I have some white over here and I'm going to use my big brush and I put a little bit of white on my brush. And then with a paper towel, you're going to take some of that white off. And then I'm just going to go up and down and I'm going to add like streaks of white. And now your green should be really dry or else you're going to get a little light blue everywhere. A light green everywhere. I'm going to add a lot of white to it. And once, if you make a mistake, you just add some more green on top. But I'm going to add a lot of white because I actually want to make my 17 black. And you could see in some areas I'm getting light green just because the edges aren't quite dry yet, but that's okay. And I like to add just a little on each of the edges. Like I like to go around. All right, so I like how that looks. shamrocks are dry and I kind of laid it out how I want it so I have the 17 in the middle and I'm only going to use one one of the clovers so all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these parts down and I'm just using I'm using school glue use Elmer's or wood glue whatever you have tacky glue so I'm going to glue those down everything is glued this is when I like to add my gold so I'm just gonna add a little gold accents I'm gonna with my little brush I'm just gonna put a little gold around the out like almost like outlining my shamrock in gold and you could have painted your shamrocks gold sometimes you need like three or four coats because the gold doesn't stick out that much but I'm just gonna put a little gold on my outside of my clover. So you guys could really transform this any way you'd like. You could not use a 17, you could just use clovers. You could get all wild and crazy. But I hope you guys had fun and I hope you have a happy St. Patrick's Day.